I'm here once again. Today I am going to repair the cord. The cord is broken and Linda has called me into her home to help her out. So we're going to see. But today you've seen a video of uh, repairing a cord before and it's the only one. So this is going to be the second one going on video of somebody's house, mm -hmm. right? So anyway, we're in Twickenham at the moment and Linda is going to explain exactly what is wrong with her curtains. Great. Well, thank you. Um, I I have got my pulley cord on this side that is it is all frayed and it's not pulling naturally and so I thought before I break it myself which inevitably it would do I thought I will start having an investigation to see how I go about getting my curtains repaired I didn't know anybody um, and or anything about it how to go about doing it so I googled and I looked at you on YouTube and I found her through watching these videos and I invited her to come and fix my curtains, so fingers crossed. <laughs> so after her breaking my arm to come all the way up here to talk to them, I'm eventually here and I'm going to see what I can do. So my intention now today is what I showed you before, is to, to join the cord at that end and thread it through. But I've tried moving it myself and to tell you the truth, I don't want... Yeah, it's tight. It's sticky. It's tight. But I can see... I can see that it's fraying up the top here. So I don't want to break it because I want this to be a quick job. So I'm going to thread it. I might cut it somewhere along the line, join it mm -hmm. again, and then thread it in two places to get rid of the, the bad bit when I can see up there clearly. And then hopefully thread it through. And if not, and it breaks along the way, then the whole thing has to come down, which I really don't want because that's ours, right? So that's what we're going to do today. So I'll, I'll show you step by step what it is I'm doing. So Linda, I'll just get on with it. I'll right. investigate and see what it is. Lovely. I might just undo that there and undo that there, take Super. the weight off. Yeah, see what right. I'm doing. Thank you. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to unhook this curtain because this is where I want to play with. So get this out of the way. Um, I'll unhook the other side so that I can see what it is I'm doing. <gasps> oh, right. <laughs> this is gonna snap. Bring it, bring it. Bring it. Can you see it? Right, hold on. Shall I show her? Linda! Yeah? Come and have a look at this. Come on, let's see this. Oh, yeah. Now, how far up? I'm hoping how far that this goes. Oh, it's gonna snap. So yeah. I hope. So yeah. I won't pull on it. No. Yeah. So and. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna connect it there. Okay. And see what happens. Brilliant. <laughs> let me do. Let me take the strain off of this for a time. So I'll take the strain off. It's so thin at the top, it is gonna break. Even if I work on it, it should it will break. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the strain off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the strain off of the cord. So and open this up and hope it doesn't break in the meantime. <laughs> So here we have two, two knots. One that's operating that section and one that's operating that section. Oh no, both sections. They're both operating there. Let's see, let's find out. Right, so that's that one. Right. So they both are operating this section. So this one here, I'm going to pull it and it's, it's too yeah. tight. Right, now, if I pull this one, I'd rather not, so uh, let me undo this. Let's take this out of here, which will help reduce pressure. And here is the new cord. Here is the new cord that I'm going to sew onto it. 
Right now, I'm sewing a strong cotton onto the old, the old cord. Put some sellotape around it, <coughs> around it, zoom into a bit, it can go in a bit. And zoom into what? To this. <laughs> now it does look fat, but let's see if we can reduce it down, just squash it down a bit. The hand's in the way, the elbow's in the way. Alright, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to help it through. So, uh, I've just, where I sellotape it, I'm just gonna, the needle won't go through it. So, just to make sure it holds it together. Your hand's in the way. And it doesn't come off. Let's see how this works. Because if it's too fat, then I've got to start again. I'm going to now right. find where the weakest point is. <coughs> the, so I'm going to pull the cord the other way. And when I get this coming through to the other end, I'm going to cut it off and then rejoin it to the old one and then continue um, pulling it through. That is the plan. All right. This bump here is too big to go through this mechanism. So I'm cutting it down and hold, hold. Right. So I just need to make this the same width as this. Thank you. 
gone through, but it's stuck somewhere. Stuck somewhere. Yeah. Ah! Broke. Oh. Uh, what broke? The string. Or the join? Yeah. You see that <coughs> stuff at the end there? That's gonna get just gonna get stuck as you push it through. Yeah. Do you want a knife? Not yet. If you can get rid of some of that, that's gonna help in it because otherwise it's gonna just build up. First. I just didn't want to. Maybe it's going to be lighter because it's all that's that why, weight. That's why I reduced this bit here. Yeah, <laughs> you put it, you're going to break the cord, isn't it? Very thin. You see, you took the curtains and you're going to fight against the weight. Yeah. Okay? Houston, we have lift off. Not really, because that's the biggest problem whereby we have to reconnect it back through. Well, at least you come down this end. Yeah. Hold it. Oh. Let's see, cut in it. Right, so. Here we go, go. go against the back, pull the curtain around. So here we go, we've got it pulled through, and we've got all this here, which is a load of rubbish, which was where it's going to break. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this because I've got another problem up there. But I'm going to cut this one first, uh, thread it back to this one and then pull it through, pull the new cord all the way through and then tackle that problem at the which I hope I don't have to take the track down. So here we go. That's the joining that I've done. So there, so I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to rejoin these two together. And continue going through. Where are they going? Sorry? They're going to go all the way through back round again? Yeah. Oh, wow.
Good old duct tape. Well, yeah. Cut it off. No, it's made too thick otherwise. Oh. And because I don't, I don't trust it. I still want to do a bit of a double security. Oh, yes, the girl. Sorry. Move back against the girl. So I'm just gonna sew one end. So the other hand, and I hope that it will still stay connected when I pull it. Now this cotton is meant to be a strong cotton, but they are stronger still. If I'm able to break the cotton with my hand, then it's, it's not really strong That's enough. Strong. But there are cottons that you can, can't break with your hand, and that's the one that I suggest you, you use. But because all my stuff is in storage, this is what I have to use, this one. It's getting sticky here. Gently, gently. And now I'm going to can we close off. the curtain a bit so we can see? Close it. The video is better. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm going to grab all of this in here. And you can see that. Hold on. So I'm going to... And now you can can see. you see the black bit moving up? Same thing applies, gently pull it through. It's going through, it should come out this end, but I don't want to lose all this. So when it comes to that hole there, that's where I'm going to have trouble threading this new thread through it. So, and that's another thing as well. So now we've got, here we go, we've got a problem getting it through this, through the hole and that's where it might break again. But to tell you the truth, now I won't leave it. It's, it's the hole. The hole is small. Right, so get that cord showing. I decided to open the middle of the track up and um, look at the me mechanism inside and pull the cord through there, which I was trying to avoid all that time. Well, you put it on the candle bottle. Yeah, because there's a, a washer, a washer there.
here's the mechanism. I've taken it out, which is the ring. Can you can see it? Mm. Yeah, there's the ring. Can you see the join that I've put in? It got stuck around the ring. So let's pass it the ring, pass it through the ring. Actually, it's the cotton that I did. So we pass it back around the ring. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on, Clint. This, this is more important, actually, that I don't lose it. I think the cord that I bought might be too fat for it. While this is down, so I've got this now through. Uh, let me see. I can't see this. Yeah, I need, I need, I need to. Where's that string? Pull. Can you pull some of that string down for me? I can't go down there. I must admit, which it's one? gone. I'll tell you which one. Pull it down. Yeah, pull, yeah, not that one, the other one. Keep pulling, pulling. Pull, pull, just pull. Pull, pull. Yeah. All right. Is that it? Yeah. So I'm going to pull this one down to get comfortable. Um, yeah. yeah, pull it down. Did you have the same one, same one? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's start. Right, so I need to put this. Right, can you just hold this here? So here it is. What I did is um, the mechanism, I put it back how I found it. Uh, these wires at the back seem to have been crossed. So this is one and that. So here's the new cords we've taken. And this is where it goes around in it because it's independent from the other one. So there it is, and that's what makes it complicated actually. So what I've got to make sure as well is that the whole thing is not crossed over. All right, so let me just put this back in now. Which cord? Pull both of them. Are you pulling? I'm not pulling. I'm saying keep pulling? Yeah, keep pulling. I just want to see where it's twisted. Pull the other one, the other one. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> the other side, you did as well. Hold on. Yeah, pull. Pull both of them. Pull. Which one? Uh, both of them. And the other one. Alright. Pull both. Hold on, hold on. Oh. 
Hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Just pull it and see, yeah. Pull the other one, pull the other one, let go. Let go. Pull the other one. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, let me tighten it up. Don't pull it yet. No. Are you, are you holding it? No. Can hold it? No, I need it to free up a bit.
one after one day after another but it's a matter of persevering now this took an, an hour an hour and two hours no what time did you get here no we started here at i thought we started at half past eleven yeah yeah half so half past eleven half past one it's two hours is it, is it two so this ne took nearly two hours to do just because the cord was twisted we had to undo it again and untwist the cord and that's probably what was causing the problem in the first place. For some reason cords get twisted. I have no idea why cords get twisted but it gets twisted and once you get it spun, you should try pulling it and try and it gets stuck. That is the cause of the problem most of the time. So anyway it's done now. I'm going to get Linda to come and test it out right, before we tail it out of here. Linda? Yeah. yeah. Can you come and check your, test your curtain? Hey. <laughs> you can say that again. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, do you know what? This is a futury job. That's why it I is. never even attempt yeah, to it. Yeah, it is actually. So, <laughs> so, oh. so do. Shall I do it? Oh, one thing is with, with the cord as well. It's good always to use two hands. Pull and pull. Push and pull. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And because this this cord is a little bit fatter than that one. Right. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> Great. Thank you. That's fantastic. Brilliant. Now I can open my curtains. <laughs> yeah. And you think, you know, I've got these from John Lewis and yeah. they cost so much money. I know. And for them not to do a service, then you just think like, well, let's find someone that can. Let's, let's, put, let's put it up, put it this way. How long since you had it done from John Lewis? Well, seven years. So <laughs> it, has, it has lasted well. It has, yeah. Don't you think know, you should but be you do think, for, you know, for the cost, they should be able to, I think, help help you when you need it. But they don't have a support service for that. So yeah. that's one thing. No, if it's under the guarantee but, after a year, then yes. But after, yeah. Other than that, it's all money making and just putting, I mean, just putting a, a new track up is, is quite expensive. I can imagine. Goodness me. Yes. That's brilliant. Thank you. You've yeah. done a brilliant job. I'm so pleased. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that I could use them at last <laughs> rather than like, oh, oh no, just leave it. <laughs> brilliant. So, right, uh, we're finished uh, now. We're going to take it out here and go home. So, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant job. Thank Recommend you. them. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> right, here's your call. Hey, super duper. Oh, gosh, that's a big job. Isn't it 